Welcome back to Virtual Grandparents, when you are meeting with your grandchildren virtually during this pandemic. All right, broken elbow, shaggy hair, no makeup, but what is important is the idea that I'm going to share. We're all in this together. My idea this week is got mail, give mail. I challenge you, if you have not already been doing so, is to send something in the mail once a week to your grandchild, your grandchildren. So my grandson, who is four, is going to be getting a packet. We've got some special Tyrannosaurus Rex stamps. Uh, we want to support the post office at these times, so getting some special stamps that you could send. He's going to get some address labels with my name on it, my husband's name on it, our address. So he's only four. It'll make him easier for him to send things back to us. He will be getting a bunch of envelopes, a variety of sizes. So if he wants to send us a pic color picture, he can do that. If he wants to try write something, put it in an envelope, he can do that. You've got lots of these envelopes hanging around that are like from Christmas cards or things. I looked, I have a few older um, cards that I will put in there so he can just write something in the card if he wants and they've got the envelope with them. I'm going to send him a bunch of papers, so construction paper and some different size papers, some colored um, index cards, a little notebook lined one. I'm going to send him, I had hanging around a bunch of stickers, so he, he likes stickers. He can put those on things he sends back. The idea is I will write him a note once a week and mail it to him. The first one is, Dear Beckett, I miss you. I love you. Please write back. Love, Mem. And then there's a P.S. Mama and Daddy can help you learn how to do the envelopes with the stamps and labels. Since he's only four and he's an emergent reader just starting to read, I want to keep my text really simple for him so that he's learning to read by repetition and then he's beginning to recognize some of those words. And I'm going to try once a week to send him a special book. So this one, I'm just going to staple it on the side, says Beckett's Birthdays, one, two, three, and four. And I know he recognizes numbers. He recognizes his name. So he's going to think he's already a good reader with this book. And so then it will just have simple, repetitive language. Happy birthday, Beckett. Beckett is one. And then, happy birthday, Beckett. Beckett is two. You get the idea. And then I go on to happy birthday, Beckett. Beckett is three. He'll remember he got his scooter that year. And then happy birthday, Beckett. Beckett is four. It's, it's his fourth birthday cake. I do have an image I will share with him that has a lot of friends at his fourth birthday party. And he will like looking and seeing who was there. So if your grandkids are younger than like mine, you will want to keep the writing really simple. If they are older, what you might do is still share a photo and say, oh, remember when we gardened together? And um, I can't wait till we get to garden together again. And so you could share a photo of you gardening together. If you took a special trip together, you could share a photo of that trip and say, remember when we went to, I remember, and tell what you remember. I remember throwing rocks into the uh, ocean uh, at the coast and I remember that we had to roll our pant legs out and the ocean water was really cold and then say what do you remember and it's inviting them to write back to you for you might um, say oh I would love it if you would draw a new picture for me to put on my refrigerator you get the idea just simple mail going back and forth and try to do that once a week they will love getting the mail and looking forward to it. And if you get mail back, that's a, a great way to visit with your grandkids. See you next time on Virtual Grandparents.